Before we start the video, I want to thank everyone for your continued support on the channel. Now let's begin the video. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Dolan here, and I'm going to narrate today's video. We're going over the top 10 anime where everyone knows the MC is overpowered, but he doesn't realize that himself. So if you enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more anime content. It would mean a lot. With that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy some anime. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care about you. Now coming at number 10 on the list, we have Sword Guy the Animation. In this anime, when the gods would not answer in humanity's desperate hour of need, it turned to a demon instead. But its uncontrollable lust for blood led it to kill those who summoned it. Although the sword was sealed away long ago, it has been uncovered by the Soshidai, an organization that collects such cursed artifacts. However, the sword proves to be too strong to be tamed by humans, when its corrupted power influences the administrator to flee with it in his grasp. At the same time, Guy Ogata's family is torn apart due to the possession of another demonic sword, Shiryu, leading his father to be murdered and his mother to hang herself shortly after giving birth to him. Abandoned in the forest clutching the blade, he is discovered by the blacksmith Amon. Unnaturally transfixed by the sword, Guy works tirelessly for years to hone his smithing skills. However, when an accident cost him his arms, he gains a new one in the form of a reforged Shiryu. Now having a cursed sword for an arm, Guy must learn to control its violent urges. All the while, the Sword of Bloodlust continues its rampage, leaving a path of blood in its wake. Coming at number 9 on the list, we have Dream Eater Mary. In this anime, we follow Yumiji Fujiwara, a seemingly average high school student. But 10 years ago, Yumiji gained the ability to see the dream auras of other people around him. This ability allows Yumiji to predict what type of dreams people are likely to have next. The dreams of others may not be a mystery to Yumiji, but his own dreams have recently left him puzzled. In dream after dream, Yumiji has been pursued by an army of cats led by John Doe, who claims he needs Yumiji's body to enter the real world. These strange occurrences get stranger when Yumiji meets Nightmare Mary, a dream demon seeking to return to her world. Using his powers, Yumiji decides to assist Mary in getting back home, but Mary's very presence in the real world means that the barrier separating dreams and reality has been broken and not all of the dream demons intend to come to Earth peacefully. Coming at number 8 in the list, we have Glipner. In this anime, Suichi Kaguya, an average high school student with an ability to transform into a monster costume, he doesn't know how or why he got these abilities, only that he would prefer no one knows about them. One night, he finds a building ablaze with a girl trapped inside. Deciding to save her, he transforms and carries her to safety, but accidentally drops his phone. The next day, the girl he saved, Claire Aoki, finds him and confronts him about his monster identity. She even goes as far as to push him off the school roof to prove her theory after Shuichi denies her allegations. Desperate to save himself, he transforms and Claire snaps a picture in order to blackmail him into telling her everything he knows about monsters which, ironically, isn't much. As it turns out, Claire has a secret of her own. She has been searching for her sister, who also became a monster. She enlists Yuichi's help to track her down, but they aren't the only ones searching for answers. Coming at number 7 on the list, we have Persona 5 The Animation. In this anime, Ren Amamiya, a new transfer student at Shujin Academy, is sent to Tokyo to live with his family friend, Sojuri Sakura, after wrongly being put on probation for defending a woman from sexual assault. While on the way to attend his first day at his new school, Ren notices a strange app has appeared on his phone, transferring him to a world known as the Metaverse. 
which contains people's shadows or distorted depictions of their true selves. In the metaverse, he awakens his persona, a power from deep within that gives him the strength to fight these shadows. With the help of similarly troubled students, he forms the Phantom Thieves of Hearts, attempting to save people from their sinful desires by taking their heart, making evildoers regret their actions and turn over a new leaf. The group's reputation continues to grow explosively, bringing along fame both positive and negative. However, during the peak of their popularity, Ren gets captured and taken into custody. Here he wakes up to a harsh interrogation, but this is cut short by the arrival of Sei Nijima, a prosecutor seeking answers. Just how will she react to his story and what will become of the Phantom Thieves? Coming at number 6 on the list we have Charlotte. In this anime, while on the surface Yu Otasaka appears to be just another charming and intelligent teenager, he has a secret. He has the ability to slip into people's minds and fully control their bodies for 5 seconds at a time. Yu has been using the skill for years to gain the highest grades, which allow him to enter a prestigious high school. When the enigmatic Naotomori catches Yu using his power, she coerces him and his sister Ayumi into transferring to Hoshinomi Academy, a school for students with supernatural abilities. The student council of the school, led by Nao, is tasked with secretly tracking down adolescents who abuse their powers. Yu is forced to join the student council, and together they face formidable challenges that bring him closer to the shocking truth that is his own, seemingly incomplete ability which might be more powerful than he could have ever imagined. Coming at number 5 on the list, we have Seven Senses of the Reunion. In this anime, it's 2034. In the globally popular MMORPG Union, there was once a top group of legends, named Subaru, made of six elementary school friends. However, once one of their members died of a heart attack, presumably brought on from dying in the game, Union shut down the game. Six years later, a new game called Reunion is launched, with similar mechanics, and when Haruto, one of Subaru's original members, meets Asahi, his partner who died six years before, the members of Subaru gather once again to uncover the mystery behind it. Coming at number four on the list, we have Get Backers. In this anime, Mido Bon and Amino Genji are known as the Get Backers. Retrievers with a success rate of 100%. Whatever is lost or stolen, they can definitely get back. Despite their powerful abilities and enthusiastic behavior, Bon and Genji are terminally broke, no matter what they do, simply because few people would actually desire to hire them. As a result, the pair of them tend to do dangerous jobs, often leading to unwanted re-encounters with their old and dangerous friends. Coming at number 3 on the list, we have my personal favorite, The Ones Within. In this anime, a series of strange disappearances have been occurring throughout Japan, and despite the police's efforts, no leads have been found, apart from the fact that all of the victims were youths. Akatsuki Iride, a friendly and amicable teenage boy, is a powerful uploader of Let's Play videos. One of his latest uploads consisted of a free-to-play game called The Ones Within, Although online rumors claim that the game causes anyone who clears it to disappear, Akatsuki is wholly unaware until the rumors prove true. He is summoned to a completely different world and meets other teenagers like him. The eight teenagers that he meets are welcomed into what is known as the 13th Avenue, headed over by a strange man with an alpaca mask calling himself Paka, and are informed of their task, to work together in clearing stages of the game in retrieving the chromosome, a keycard-like token of completion, to subsequently reach 100 million viewers in this livestream, where death and injury can all occur. Resistance is not tolerated. Those who do are imprisoned in what is known as the White Room, to wait alone for the rest in the avenue to complete the game. Henceforth begins their trials in clearing the game. Coming at number 2 on the list, we have Tokyo Ravens. In this anime, Anmyodo magic was once a powerful technique which was used by the Japanese during World War II. 
In the present day, Amyoto has become more refined, simplified, and modernized, even finding its use in the fields of medicine and technology. But not everyone is capable of affording this power, as can be seen in the case of Harutora, a member of one of the Tsuchimikado's branch families, who was born with no spiritual power. Despite being born to a distinguished Anmyoji family, his life has become meaningless as he can accomplish nothing without any spiritual power. But he does remember the fact about him making a promise with his estranged childhood friend Natsume, the Tsuchimikado's family heir and Yakuo's supposed reincarnation. Despite his background, living a normal and peaceful life is all Horotora ever wanted. But when a group of people from the Anmyo Agency attempt to recreate the same tragedy that led to Japan's downfall two years ago, he decides to take matters into his own hands by fighting alongside Natsume as her Shikigami, aka Familiar. Coming at number one on the list, we have another personal favorite, Higashi no Eden, also known as Eden of the East. In this anime, on November 22, 2010, 10 missiles strike Japan. However, this unprecedented terrorist act, later to be known as Careless Monday, does not result in any apparent victims, and is soon forgotten by almost everyone. Then, three months later, Saki Motomi is a young woman currently in the United States of America on her graduation trip. But just when she is in front of the White House, Washington DC, she gets in trouble and only the unexpected intervention of one of her fellow countrymen saves her. However, this man, who introduces himself as Akira Takizawa, is a complete mystery. He appears to have lost his memory, is stark naked except for the gun he holds in one hand, and the mobile phone he's holding in the other, a phone that is charged with 8,200,000,000 yen in digital cash. Did you guys enjoy this video? If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And click the notification bell for more upcoming videos. I'll see you next time.